Hello, I'm Brandon Rogers. Welcome to another edition of Students First, the Rochester City School District's premier news program. Each week, we bring you vital news about Rochester schools, important dates for parents, as well as special features that bring you into real Rochester classrooms. Recently, students from the School of Imaging and Information Technology at Edison participated in a two-day live broadcast of this year's Finger Lake Regional Robotics Competition, which was broadcasted on Time Warner Cable Channel 4 throughout the greater Rochester area. IIT crew members assisted in the production by operating video cameras, performing interviews, and assisting with setting up of all the equipment. IIT is pleased to bring you the exciting robotics championship competition featuring the Wilson X-Cats. Let's all enjoy this matchup and watch together to find out if the Wilson X-Cats won their way into the Nationals in Atlanta. Welcome to the 2010 First Robotics Competition and this year's game Breakaway. Breakaway is played on a 27 by 54 foot field. Alliances of three teams each operate their robots from behind alliance walls at the end of the field. Two bumps extend across the width of the field and divide it into three zones. A tower extends upwards from the center of each bump. A tunnel under each tower forms a passage between the zones. Robots play breakaway with standard soccer balls. The objective is to score points by kicking or rolling balls through the goals at your end of the field. Robots can use their cameras to track the vision targets above each goal. This allows them to target the goals from almost anywhere on the field. Each alliance starts with one of their robots in each zone on their side of the field. One ball is placed in the zone closest to their goal, two balls go in the middle zone, and three balls go in the zone at the far end of the field. The match starts with a 15 second autonomous period. During this period, robots try to shoot balls into their goals. After they take their shots, they move out of the way to avoid blocking their partners. This requires coordination between all members of the Alliance. At the end of the autonomous period, human drivers step forward to take the controls. During the teleoperated period, teams control their robots and attempt to score in their goals. Balls can be scored in goals from anywhere on the field. As balls are scored, the human players remove them from the goals and pass them to the center of the Alliance station. The trident is used to place balls on the return rack to re-enter them into play. As robots attempt to score, they must also deal with opposing robots that may be defending their goal. Robots can drive the length of the field by going through the tunnels or across the bumps. When crossing the bumps, robots will have to drive carefully to avoid tipping over. Wise teams will design robots that can right themselves in case this happens. Near the end of the match, robots gather near the towers. Robots can get bonus points by climbing on the platform or hanging from the tower. Larger bonuses are given if the robot is lifted by or hangs from a partner robot from their alliance. Scoring is simple. Balls scored in goals are worth one point. Robots elevated on the tower or platform are worth two points. Robots suspended from other robots are worth three bonus points.
And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Your score, eight to five, is the Well, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for Team 610, the Coyotes of Toronto, Ontario. A round of applause for Team 188 from Toronto, Ontario as well, the Warren Robotics Team. And how about the hometown favorite, Team 191, fierce to the end, let's hear it for the x -Cats. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the 2010 First Finger Lakes Regional Tournament Champions, team number 174, the Arctic Warriors! Team number 217, the Thunder! Last but certainly not least, Team 